Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina Corbin and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the best and worst pregnancy safe beauty products. I'm going to show you guys everything that I've been using and tell you how I've liked it and show you the products that I love and the products that I didn't really love. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys about the best pregnancy safe skincare products that I have been using throughout my pregnancy, the ones that I've loved and the ones that I have hated. Let's just jump right in and see everything that I've been using. And again, just a friendly reminder, don't forget to subscribe guys so you don't miss any more pregnancy updates. I am reaching the end of my pregnancy here, so baby girl is gonna be here any day. I don't know, we'll see, but I figured this would be a good time to go over all the products I've been using throughout my pregnancy. I did go into this pregnancy kind of like gung-ho, wanting to be super natural, super organic, but I mean, not like crazy organic, but I just wanted to use products that weren't harmful to me or my baby. And this being my first pregnancy, I was a little scared, a little paranoid. So I went above and beyond. I did the research, basically I did the research for you so you don't have to. If you are looking for pregnancy safe beauty products, this is the video for you. So I'm gonna get into this and I'm gonna start with my skincare that I've been using and the things that I've been loving. So here we go. So the face wash that I have been loving is from Honest Beauty and it is the Gentle Gel Cleanser with Chamomile and Calendula Extracts. This is actually my second bottle, so that'll tell you that this is a really good cleanser. It does a great job taking off my makeup. It's really gentle, the scent is very mild and overall it hasn't caused me any irritation or any problems. So this product for me is amazing and I love it and I will be using it again probably even postpartum as well some other face washes that I did try are these Pacifica brand ones and I tried the seafoam complete face wash and the rose kombucha flower powered face wash this one the seafoam one I actually did not like I thought the smell was way too strong way too pungent and just kind of fake tropically smelly to me and it kind of grossed me out so I actually ended up giving this to my husband and he loved it so he ended up using that one but this one I got and this one has the scent on this one is very fresh and I liked it a lot more it's more natural smelling therefore out of those two Pacifica products I would definitely go with the rose kombucha and as a face wash cleanser in itself it is 100% vegan it's cruelty free and it's made with great products sulfate free as well and this is the one that I would generally just keep in my shower and wash my face while I'm in the shower and the honest one is the one I would keep like on my sink and use it more often but overall this one is also really gentle and did a great job cleaning my face as well let's move on to some face creams the first face cream I did get was this Honest Beauty one. It's a hydrogel with two types of hyaluronic acid. This one, honestly, I actually ended up hating and not using. I still have a whole thing of it left. I didn't like how it went on my skin. I didn't feel like it rubbed in very well. It had like slightly weird rubbery texture, watery, rubbery that, I don't know, it just didn't seem very hydrating i know it's a gel moisturizer but i don't know just something about it didn't stick well with me so i didn't really end up using it so this is a no-no for me and so after that one i actually ended up getting another gel based water-based moisturizer and this is boschia cactus water moisturizer and this one i actually did like quite a bit it's a gel one it's really light it smells fresh and it does go in very well and it did the trick for me during like the first part of my first trimester but then i realized my skin was starting to get really dry and i needed something with a lot more um moisture in it something more hydrating so then i had to switch up my face um moisturizer again and then i actually ended up getting this babo botanicals miracle moisturizing cream it's with uh, oat milk calendula. It's for face and body. And this is actually for babies. <laughs> this is a lotion for face and body that you can use on your baby. But I was like, you know, if it's safe for baby, it's safe for mama. So I got it and I actually used quite a bit of it. I liked it a lot. It's very moisturizing. I would just put it on my face every morning and it is super safe and it's gentle and soothing, like it says. <laughs> and it actually is really great for dry, sensitive skin. So I have liked this one quite a bit. Basically during the day, I would use this one. Then I did get a night cream, which is this, I don't know how you pronounce this, Andalou Naturals Thousand Roses Heavenly Night Cream for sensitive skin. 
And this one honestly is heavenly. Like I've loved it. It feels so good on your skin. It absorbs well. You could feel how hydrating it is and it's just very soothing and very calming. And honestly, it did wonders for my skin. So because my skin was so dry, these two products were the, my go-to products throughout the majority of my pregnancy. And then I also needed an eye cream. So the one I went for that would be pregnancy safe is this Youth to the People Kale and Aloe Sunflower Oil Tripeptide 5 Superfood Peptide Eye Cream. I originally wanted an eye cream that was a little more hydrating, but this one did the trick. It was light, it absorbs well, and I didn't have any problems with it, no irritation. So I have been using this and I have been liking it quite a bit. But I think post-pregnancy, I will be switching back to my normal eye creams, which I couldn't use during pregnancy. Another product, which is like, actually ended up being a holy grail item for me, for my face, is just literally the simplest, it's the simplest product you could think of. And it is this vitamin E oil. I got this off of Amazon and I originally got it for stretch marks, but it then said you could use it on your skin, hair, and nails. And I started like, thinking I'm like okay let me try putting this on my face and I swear guys I've been putting like I was breaking out so much on my face and just having all these irritation issues and then I would just put this on at night overnight and I swear I did wonders for my skin I feel like in a week my face cleared up it became more supple vibrant moisturized so this has literally been like a little holy grail <laughs> skincare product for me during this pregnancy which I have been loving and I think I will continue to use it because sometimes I have like really dry areas on my face. So even if I use it for those, it's great. And the great thing about this, this is oil, but it's not, you don't feel oily after it absorbs very, very well. And you don't feel like you're like sticky and oily and gross. It has like, it's highly absorbent and it's awesome. So I highly, highly recommend using some vitamin E oil on your skin if you're having dry skin issues like I have during this pregnancy. One product that I absolutely hated, yes, hated, <laughs> I actually got this because I saw this in somebody else's YouTube video and it seemed like awesome to me and I was having super dry skin is this looks me, I think you pronounce it looks me, pure Nilotica melt. Um, it's a nourishing balm to oil. And honestly, look at the size of this bottle. Like, it ended up being way too overpriced for what you're getting. Yes, it's 100% natural, made from some kind of amazing nut from somewhere. But you, the, basically the point of it is you just put it on your like dry spots on your face. But I've hated it. It's like way too like balmy. It feels like more like a lip balm to me and not a dry spot face product. I didn't like the smell. I didn't like anything about it. I feel like it's a waste of money. So do not get this, guys. Don't even buy it. Another face product that I did get is this Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Coconut Milk Mystified Moisturizer. Since I have been pregnant during the summer, this has been a great thing. If I'm going to the beach or to the pool or just a mist on myself <clears throat> throughout the day. Sorry, I feel like, like my throat's a little something. I'm like congested or something so my voice like is extra raspy or something. I haven't used too much of it but it's a great refresher. Something especially since I have been having such dry skin I'll just like mist it on myself midday or in the morning after I do my face washing and whatnot and it has a nice scent. It's refreshing and it's definitely a cool little handy product if you want to have a little midday refresher. That's it for my favorite skincare products, guys, and everything that I've been using. I hope this video is super helpful for you. I know I know it was hard for me trying to decipher what is safe and what is not during pregnancy. So I did a ton of research, so you don't have to. And I hope you guys give these products a try because they have really helped me throughout my pregnancy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. I will actually be posting a part two to this video just because I feel like it's getting a little long. Um, and in the second part, I will feature my favorite hair products, my the deodorant I used, um, and other miscellaneous beauty products that I used throughout my pregnancy because I feel like there's just as many as I just <laughs> went over with just my face. So I don't want to make the video way too long. So I will be posting a part two directly after this. So just look out for that if you want to see the continuation. Ooh.